In this video, we're doing iteration by parts. This is part one when the method of tic-tac-toe works. Tic-tac-toe is going to work any time one of your functions is algebra and the other function is either e to the x, sine x, or cosine x. And the shortcut for tic-tac-toe is pretty simple. We need to make a table of values. We're going to do derivatives in the left-hand column and integrals in the right-hand column. We want our algebra to always be the derivative column. So the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Derivative of that is 6x. Derivative of that is 6. Derivative of 6 is 0. Integrating e to the negative x. So if we think about it, integral e to the negative x dx that's a u sub, u is negative x, du is negative dx, so if I want to put a negative, I have to have a negative out front. So this becomes negative e to the negative x. Integrating again, we get e to the negative x, then negative e to the negative x, then e to the negative x. We need to alternate signs, starting with a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Never use the bottom left, never use the top right. And now all we're doing is multiplying on the diagonals. So our answer, our first term, would be uh, negative x cubed e to the negative x. Second term would be negative 3x squared e to the negative x. Third term is negative 6x e to the negative x. Fourth term, negative 6 e to the negative x plus c. Pretty simple. Let's do that a second time. This time, derivatives, integrals, algebra goes in the derivative column. 4x cubed becomes 12x squared becomes 24x becomes 24 becomes 0. Integral column, sine 2x. Again, think about it. If you're integrating sine 2x dx, then u is 2x, du is 2dx. We're going to need a 1 half in front. Integrate, we've got a negative 1 half cosine 2x. Integrate again, we're going to have a negative 1 fourth sine 2x. Integrate again, we're going to have a positive 1 eighth cosine 2x. Integrate one more time, we're going to have a 1 16th sine 2x. Alternate our signs, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Don't use the bottom left. Don't use the top right. Multiplying on the diagonals. First term then, 4 times negative half would be negative 2 x cubed cosine 2x. Negative 12 times negative 1 fourth would be a positive 3x squared sine 2x. 24 times 1 eighth would be a positive 3x cosine 2x. Negative 24 divided by 16, well, we could reduce that to negative 3 halves sine 2x plus c. Let's see if we can do one more example on this. So in our third example, again we have derivatives, we have integrals, 2x cubed in the derivatives column, so 6x squared, 12x, 12, and 0. Here we have e to the negative 3x this time. So again, let's think about that as an integral of e to the negative 3x dx, u is negative 3x, du is a negative 3 dx, so if I want to put a negative 3, I need a negative 1 third in front. So negative 1 third e to the negative 3x, 1 ninth e to the negative 3x, uh, negative 1 27th 
e to the negative 3x, and then 1 over 81, e to the negative 3x. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, don't use the bottom left or the top right, diagonal, 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 diagonal. So it looks like our first term, 2 times negative 1 third is negative 2 thirds, uh, x cubed e to the negative 3x, our second term, uh, negative 6 times 1 ninth reduces to negative 2 thirds x squared e to the negative 3x. 12 over 27. Well, we could divide both of those by 3. We end up with a negative 4 over 9 x e to the negative 3x. And then we have 12 over 81. Again, we could uh, divide that by 3, so we get a negative 4 over 27 e to the negative 3x plus c.